Hi, I'm Rebecca Page and I want to tell you about some of the ways you could customise or hack our latest pattern, Emma. So I'm a big fan of when you get a sewing pattern, making it up exactly how the pattern suggests and then start getting ideas and then change it and make it your own. So you could make lots of different versions of this outfit, um, as I fully intend to do for myself. Um, so let me tell you about some of the ways you could change it. So something that um, some of our testers did was they um, didn't like the height of the collar on them. Some of them didn't like it around their neck. I love it. I think it's ever so elegant. But if you don't like the feeling of that on your neck or you've got a child, you're making it for them, they don't like the feeling of it on their neck. Um, what some of them did was they um, folded the pattern piece in half and they shortened it down and it really changed the look of it. It made it much more delicate around the neck versus um, quite strong up there and also changed the feel of it. Some of them also lengthened the pattern piece to make it looser around the neck. So if you made the pattern piece narrower and looser, it would give quite a different look. Um, some of them also uh, changed the height of the side seams, which is another great idea. Depending on the size of your bust is going to depend on how the dress sits. So um, if you have a smaller bust, you might find you want to sew it slightly higher up. So make it as per the pattern in uh, cheap fabric like a muslin um, uh, first to see how it sits on you and then start making changes to fit yourself. You could sew it up here and that's going to come um, higher up because um, you don't want your bra strap showing on the ladies version or on the child's depending on their frame. You might want to do that. Or if you're nursing, you could open it up down, uh, which is actually a suggestion in the pattern as well. Um, sew it exactly the same way if you're nursing, but then what you want to do at the top, let's just pretend this is down here, is you would cross it over and you would just have a little snap here and a snap there and a snap there so that you could just do it back up again. Um, uh, what else could you do? Um, I've also seen some uh, smaller busted ladies that um, found this too much across the bust. Um, so what they did was they shaped the seam around. You'll see the child's pattern is shaped around there, but the ladies is straight to give the coverage. If you have a smaller bust, you don't necessarily need that, and a slightly different look, uh, which would um, take some of the fabric out of the front here, would be to shape that part to where the um, uh, armhole notches. Um, you can also, um, I haven't seen anyone do this yet, so if you do do it, um, post it on our group or on Instagram, and. Um, tag me and let me know, um, is they have, some people have suggested making the um, hole at the back either shaped or longer, you could do it all the way down, that would be quite nice, um, or even moving where this is attached out so that you've got a bit of a V. Someone else suggested in our tester group, which I thought was a really cool idea, um, is to put the exact same, do two back pieces, um, well four, so two mirrored, four in total versus, oh my goodness, do, do instead of doing one front, do um, a back and uh, the back on both sides um, so that you could have, um, you could make yourself a little V opening on the front here. Um, something else I have seen is um, people who have um, taken the sash, which is quite wide, um, and they've folded it over either once or twice on the pattern piece to get a different length. And one lady had a store-bought belt um, if you have a look at the bundle pictures, uh, one of our testers, Olivia, has the most amazing black belt, uh, which is very, very narrow at the end, um, but quite wide in the middle. So as she tied it, it got narrower and narrower around her waist. Um, and so that you could do that as well. You could take the pattern piece and um, slowly um, taper it out towards the end. Uh, what else could you do? Height. So to adjust for height, you adjust at the bottom of the tunic. So if you're going to do that, you've got where the gathers join to the bottom of the skirt. Um, you take um, an, an amount, however much you want, off the bottom of the tunic. That will make it shorter, um, while keeping the height of the actual tiers below that the same. Um, and you could lengthen or shorten as you wanted. So those are my ideas. You might have other ideas. Um, if you do, comment below. Love to know how you would um, hack or change it. So enjoy. Happy sewing. Can't wait to see what you make.